brought it back. You may find another clue. You have balls, and they're waiting for you. It's noisier on the track when we arrive, I see us. It's completely fucking silent in the background. <laughs> oh shit, again? Oh no. Oh my god! Oh, oh my no. god, look oh, at their no. fucking soulless eyes! Oh shit. What do you mean, Shuji Kun's a no show again today? Yeah, how many days do you think it's been? Can you count? Can you even count? Hey, don't ask me. Give me my shuji kun Rolls up sleeve right in here! <laughs> Injects Give... shuji kun right into my fucking veins. <laughs> Give me his very essence! Put him in a blender and I'll drink him up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, delicious! Uh, your shuji kun Get real. He doesn't belong to you. Takes off shirt halfway so you can see Yakuza-esque tattoo of Toyama-kun on her back. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there you go, just like that. <laughs> What'd you say? Ah, uh, hey, please don't fight. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the animation! <laughs> They're oh, like Pokemon. that was great! Yeah, like oh fucking my. Pokemon fighting, you're right! <laughs> oh shit. Fangirl, you scratch! <laughs> Wait, which oh, one? God. I meant number one, not you number two. Yeah. You get back to <laughs> your corner. Oh my gosh. And the Dragon Field students try to break up the fight only to get broken up himself! What? Damn. Oh my god. Break his legs! Holy cow! They're out for blood! Maybe we should avoid this area. Maybe we should pretend we didn't see shit. Yeah, just like that. Let's leave. <laughs> oh my god, everyone's wow, fighting, that dude. Was, What's we, going on? We, we really fucking just left. Yeah. Um, okay, up next is the uh, forest. Forest, alright. Wonder what we're going to find. I doubt we're gonna find anyone in the forest. Wait, wh what? Oh. What the hell? That was supposed to be a space instead of a... Oh. Instead of a question mark. I doubt, we, I doubt we're gonna find anyone in the forest who can talk to us. Let's just give it a try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hello? Is somebody out there? Nanami grumbles as we walk until we come across Honoka. Oh, it's been a while since we... Uh. Since we saw this little she-devil. Okay. Oh, look, there she is! Honoka-chan! Here's Honoka-chan! Wee! What's up, guys? I've been trying to work on a personality that isn't, um, abusing animals. Honoka- Hello. Honoka gladly greets us. Make any new animal friends? Um, it's kind of a fucked up thing to ask, considering you know my history. Oh, wait, no, she doesn't. She doesn't. Honoka oh, seems boy. to have uh, trouble finding the right words. Yeah, because she's always been... Uh, Nanami has never been present when we've done the, the Kodadama shit on Honoka. Yeah. It was... She's only showed up after. Um, I was just thinking it's been a while since I've come to the forest, so... Oh, I see. Did something happen? Uh... I, kinda. But everything's fine now, so no need to worry about me, okay? Or ask questions. Konaka smiles at me. You fucking know. Uh, okay? Nami whispers to me in a low voice. Did something happen with Onoka chan? Yeah, she beats animals, don't tell anybody. Anyway. <laughs> Don't, especially don't quack about it. Here's her phone. <laughs> Who knows? I play dumb. Are you two investigating something again? You bet we are. It's, this time it's the future reflecting mirror. 
That would be explained to the mystery to Honoka. Oh, so that's what it is. Well, in that case, I might actually be able to help. You see, I've gone to Mizuki Sensei's for counseling myself. Is oh. this gonna be... Wait, is is Mizuki like a fucking Hannibal character? Where... Well, okay, I don't want to spoil it. Cannibal show, character? Uh, it, it's referencing the show, but I want to spoil it if anyone in this audience actually gives a hell. Oh. Never mind. Really? Then can you tell us how it went? Yep, sure can. Takes three folding chairs out from the bush. <laughs> I have been dreaming of this day. Honoka nods and begins her tale. It all started a summer in Sicily back in 83. Uh oh. I'm not currently going to her for counseling anymore. Well, you see, back then, I was stressed out because of my grades and my mom, so I ended up going to Mizuki Sensei for counseling. So you mean you asked Kaudin for counseling then? Yeah, well, are we just repeating each other? Oh my gosh, excuse me, sorry. I just ate a frog. Um, anyway, no, actually, it was Mizuki, Mizuki Sensei, Sensei who went, who up, went to up to me. Da -da -da. It made me so happy for the first time and the last time. It felt like someone cared. Way to go, Kaorin! So what was her counseling like? Well, Mizuki Sensei would wait in an empty room after class, and you'd just go in there and get high and talk things <laughs> out with her. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's everything checks out. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I like how half of our weird bits have started, like, kind of just lining up well. Yeah. Good stuff. Um, the empty room with a big mirror? Yep, that's the room. She'd talk with me about my worries and ask if I'm going to be feeling okay and offer me... Hold on. Offer me supplements that are good for the body. She was literally... Well then. Giving me drugs to give me a body high. Things like that. She... <laughs> she literally, like, low-key runs a dispensary from school. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess if we're over a pharmaceutical company... Uh, you know what? Holy shit. Everything lights up! Why are we so good at making jokes? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but it's awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. I see, I see! I guess Kaorin <laughs> helped you overcome your stress, so <laughs> you don't need her counseling anymore, huh? Her quote-unquote <laughs> counseling. That's, uh, that's the type of weed that she's giving out. She developed a new strength, <laughs> and she called it counseling. Called counseling? Yeah. Hey, let me get a- let me And then other teachers are like, I'm sorry, have students been going to you for drugs? Mm, no, but they have been coming at counseling. me for counseling. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Okay, sweet. <laughs> Damn it. Let me get a hundred bucks of counseling. <laughs> and if anybody asks, I was never here. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, well, about that. For some reason, getting really high all day after class didn't help me improve my grades, but... Oh? Uh... I did some terrible things after that, and I got a bit frustrated sometimes. Uh, but thanks to our... A friend... Don't call me your friend. You hear the low rumble of the abyss creep up and grab your shoulders as she slowly tilts her head and locks eyes, matching her soul with yours. Oh. I'm all better now. Oh! Oh, Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm no longer frustrated, and I feel positive about myself now. I don't need counseling anymore, because once you fix one problem, you don't need to go to counseling ever again. Yeah. That's, anyway. That's a joke, that's a joke. That. You do need to go to, that, if you yeah, feel that, like you need guys. to go to counseling or therapy, please send it if you have the means to do so. Yeah, guys, if you if you, if you you help yourself in one area and, and you feel like something else going on, keep, you know, do whatever is helping out and there's no real end. It's only just, you know, the, the evolution of ourselves. 
Um, that's all thanks to that certain special someone. Oh, it's just turning into a little into a little Cthulhu Junior over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I uh, see. You really, you really seem to like that person, but eh, whatever. The fuck not, I mean. <laughs> Thanks. You're a big help. I hope that helps. There she goes, back into the bushes. <laughs> when she's done telling her story, Honaka leaves the forest. Do you think Honaka-chan has a crush on someone? Oh God! I hope not. Um. Hmm. I th me thinks I know what is going on here. Uh, but l for now, let's just go to the library. Okay. Okay. So, how'd you do on the test? I don't want to talk about it. Man, that was brutal. I managed to avoid flunking, but still, the Yikerinos. <laughs> Yikerinos! <laughs> uh, thank goodness! I was one worried even you were gonna pass me up! <laughs> Pseudo Christopher Walken shit him. Got going over here. And what's that supposed to mean? Get this, the Tomoe managed to make it the latest top 30. Oh, for real. I know, right? He was an F student taking supplementary classes like me. But it's kinda creepy, ever since his grades got better, he's had attitude problems. He's always on the edge about every little thing. Must be nice to be in the top 30 though. Come to think of it, we had one of those guys in my class too. You know the one. The, the one we were just talking about. Someone suddenly went from straight Fs to top 15. Okay, one more question and I'm done. Wait, how? Ah, uh, guess I better take this more seriously then. Male student one took out his reading glasses and truly immersed. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> hmm. I think I've heard about that before, but it doesn't seem relevant to Kaorin. It, it is Nanami. It's all connected. It's all fucking <gasps> connected. Oh shit! Wait, wait. Was I just female student one? Uh, yeah. Who do you think you are? You are not the boss of me. Oh, please, this is an area for all students. You can't just hog this space to yourself. A female student's arguing with the library committee member. Oh, it's a different one. Oh, it's a, okay, whatever. Y'all are full of yourselves and quit staring at me like that. Fine, I'm out of this dump. Fuck you. One star on Yelp. Kicks a table over. <laughs> sweeps books off a desk. Take that. Pick them up, nerd. The girl sweeps a pile of books off a desk and leaves the library? Oh my god. Oh. That was kind of extra. You're kind of extra. Oh, it's you. Ugh, lately we've had more and more problem visitors like that. Selfish and, well, yes, extra. Give them a warning and they snap back at you! It's almost like you listen to reason. Or at least you listen to reason. Mostly. The library committee member quietly starts picking up the scattered books. And we don't help her? Damn, alright. We don't give a shit. Uh, next we're... What? What? It says backside of the school building. What the fuck? After that, it says archive room, so I don't know if you want to... I guess let's go there. Yeah. Tell him I lean against the bookshelf in the archive. Ah, uh, god damn it! Uh, you, you, ah. you guys need anything from me? 
Did something? God damn it! Did something happen? <laughs> you look kind of down. <laughs> oh, you can tell, huh? My times are worsening, and I and nothing I try is working. I'm at a loss here. God, he's talking so quietly. I, I can like barely even <laughs> hear him. He is a low whisper of a man. The suit is like a mumble coon, uh, uh, fucking cussing. Hell yeah, deep lore of Kotodama. Yeah. Um, is there, is there anything you can get can Wait, is there anyone you can get counseling from? Are you, are you gaslighting him? Counseling, huh? I guess that might be my only option now. Sorry, but can you guys give me some space? Leave me! I need to be alone with my thoughts for a while. <laughs> Turns on radio. Crawling in my skin. <laughs> Uh, shit. Do I have a size uh, deep lane? <clears throat> I can't find the right words to say to him. And music room. The fuck is- this is like the weirdest chapter. I don't know how it's gonna get wrapped up. Yeah. You two would- again? Yeah! It's Yukino! Could you cut it out with the attitude already? And should it be obvious I was here? Or did you not hear the violin? You can glare at us with a fed up scowl on her face. So what are you investigating this time? <laughs> Hold on to your seat. Because we've just reached... <clears throat> God damn it. Because we've just reached the last of the seven mysteries. Ugh. <sighs> What a waste of time. And of course, Yukino thinks it's a waste of time. Let's just get this over with. Start, put your dukes up. <laughs> All right, you wanna fucking go? I'll go. Actually, Yukino, you know anything about the future reflecting mirror? Oh yeah, sure. You mean, you mean that mirror in the, uh, the empty classroom, right? Don't know anything more than what everyone else knows about it, but it's just a plain old mirror, isn't it? Hey, <laughs> that's exactly what a mediocre person would think. M mediocre? Shut your fucking mouth! You're the last person I want to hear that from, gutter trash. You and your whole family's gutter trash. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> That's exactly how a mediocre person would react. <laughs> okay, cool. Starts hitting Nanami's knees with a violin. <laughs> what did you say? Okay, genius. All right. Well, what do you What do you think the mirror is then, huh? Is it your god? Is it what you believe in? <laughs> Fine, if you insist. I'll tell you. She is so full of herself. It's a metaphor! Fuck you! <laughs> Stop uh, that, Don. A, a metaphor. You seriously think you're original when you say, The real mirror was basically sent to counseling all alone! Everyone knows that. Everyone. Everyone. Yeah! Everyone. Nanami falters at Yukino's unexpected counterattack. Wow, that's seriously all you had? Pathetic. She read her like a mirror. <laughs> that w ah. that was a book. That was it's a <laughs> metaphor, you see. <laughs> you see? And that makes you mediocre. Oh, guess you really are an idiot. I almost feel sorry for you at this point. Almost. Why don't you just ask for Mizuki Sensei's counseling yourself? An actually smart idea. I'm sure you could use the help. Shut the hell up! Oh my god! Exhibit A. Uh, uncontrollable rage. A strong, a strong reaction like that's not what I, what you'd expect from Nanami. Whoa! What is your problem? It's just a prank, dude. <laughs> it's just a prank. Oh, okay. I'll admit that social experiment went a little too far. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I went a little too far, too. My bad. Whoa. 
What? Well, they're, they, they're finally fucking getting their character development about their fight. About their bullshit going on. Good, I guess. Now this is awkward. Um, have you been to Misuki Sensei for counseling? She has. Uh, not. Me? <laughs> no. Counseling's not really my thing. More into, like, going to the firing range and shooting a M15. Oh, but don't get me wrong, I'm not against the idea or anything. I I'm sure it's helped some people. She shoots guns at dolls that look like that on me. <laughs> God. This is not my style, that's all. It's like admitting your weakness, you know? Hey, uh, uh, no, viewers you slash know. Uh, listeners, uh, going to counseling is never uh, bad for you. It's always highly, highly encouraged if you feel like you need it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we support counseling and, and any help people are getting. Yeah. That's so you can know. Quote laugh track. Quote no. Q Q laugh track. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> Quote laugh track. Ha ha ha. You've just never felt actual, actual hardship. hardship. That's all. Wow. The well. fuck. Hmm. That's not something I expect to hear from you. My mom maybe. I'm just pulling your leg. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's get a move on, Carly. We don't want to bother Yukino. I I'm fine, really. You guys no, we still go. Okay. And then he leaves the music room without paying attention to what Yukino said. Holy shit. Wow. What's that girl's problem? Alright, and courtyard, okay. Courtyard, yeah. That's weird that, like, the back of the building came up on the thing you're reading, but not here. I know. But that was the only thing that didn't show up, so... Oh. Yo, chinatsu chan How have you been? Oh, hello, Nanami-senpai. You seem as bright and cheerful as ever today. Do you want to fight? <laughs> I see the two of you are together. Wait, you're not here to chase me down again, are you? <laughs> of course not! I was actually asking in earnest. But good! I don't think I can go through that again. So, what are you investigating now? We explained that we're investigating the future of fucking Mirror, and are trying to interview anyone counseled by Misaki-sensei. Chinatsu looks at us with a grim expression on her face. Oh gosh. You two aren't planning to. You two aren't planning to bother Mizuki Sensei now, are you? We're not gonna bother her! We just wanna hear from the students. For, wait. Yeah, we just wanna hear from the students she's counseled! Do you know of anyone she got such a. <clears throat> God damn it. <clears throat> you got this. Do you know of anyone she got such a. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll talk. I've actually been to her for counseling myself. Oh, wow. Yay! Thank you, Chidatsu chan So, sorry to be blunt, blunt, but what was it like? That was, that was good, I like that. Well, first of all, I'm grateful for Mizuki-sensei. I'm sure plenty of students are, if you catch my drift, haha. <laughs> hey. Um... Yeah, around a half a year after I entered the academy, I was a little depressed about a small matter. But then Mizuki-sensei called out to me. Wow, she really looks out for her students, huh? So, how did she call out to you? Like this. Hey, bowl cut! <laughs> <laughs> Which is really more like, Hachisuka-san, you seem down lately. Is everything okay? If there's anything you'd like to talk about, see me after class in the empty room with the big mirror. Which, as I say that, sounds like a fairy tale. But yeah, so I went to that room after class and there she was, waiting for me. The time was 4.20. <laughs> 
Huh? I see! So she was able to give you some perfect advice then, huh? Oh no, she didn't actually give me advice. We just got really high and then it was more like she just heard me out and gave me a little push from behind. She didn't give you advice? No, by that point her strain was called encouragement. <laughs> Good shit. Ye but after I was done talking to Miski sensei I felt kind of refreshed. I felt like I could do anything. Whoa. Like you could do anything, huh? S something wrong, senpai? Ah, sorry, sorry. So basically, she erased your motivation and that helped you solve your worries on your own, huh? I suppose you could say that. If only that were the end of it, though. After a short while, I got depressed again. Oh no. I kept going back to her, again and again. She always heard me out without a single sign of annoyance on her face. Granted, she was high too. <laughs> I felt guilty about wasting her time, and I thought I really ought to solve my problems for myself. So I stopped going. Damn. Alright. Yeah. So, when I went to give her my regards, she said, I suppose you really did need it after all. Huh. I feel so guilty about what I made her put up with. I see. So that's what you feel grateful for, Misuki-sensei. Yes. Oh, right. Have a look at this. It's Mikoto's suicide note. She's handing them out. She also shows oh, us an, oh. ornate, an ornate pendant hanging from her neck. Oh, it's the thing we put it out last time. Yeah. yeah. Forgot about that. Is that your pendant, Shinatsu-chan? What about it? Ha. <laughs> Well, this pendant is actually a pillowcase. Oh, shit. Oh, that's smart. I mean, in the right hands. It's the blue pill! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. And Shinatsu opens her pendant oh. with a twist and takes out a deep blue capsule. Because she didn't want to see how far down the rabbit hole goes. Nope. 